The extended delay on an Indigo flight from Delhi to Goa has triggered a shocking response from a passenger who assaulted a captain on board. The passenger, identified as Sahil Kataria, ran up to the flight's co-captain Anup Kumar and hit him at least once before he was dragged off by a fellow passenger. The incident was filmed by another passenger. Meanwhile, on the complaint of, a co of the co-pilot, a case has been registered and investigation is underway. Meanwhile, my colleague Brian Thomas joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Brian, if you could take our viewers through the details of this absolutely outrageous assault that has taken place on the Indigo flight. Do we have any information on the condition of the pilot who was injured? Uh, well, Ashabri, the latest that we are going uh, getting to know is that in response to the complaint lodged by co-pilot um, whose name is Anup Kumar against a passenger uh, whose name is Sahil Kataria, who was the person who allegedly, you know, um, assaulted and misbehaved with the co-pilot um, during the flight from Delhi to Goa. A case has also been you know, registered under Section 323, 341 and 290 of the ICC along with 22 aircraft rules as well. Even the um, DCP, the Deputy Commissioner of Police also has confirmed that an investigation, a thorough investigation is currently underway to address this incident. And Indigo, in light of this incident, also has taken proactive measures also, you know. They have also formed an ex internal committee to thoroughly examine the matter. The airline has also referred the incident to this committee, emphasizing its commitment to ensure the safety and security of its passenger crew. Um, even Indigo officials are actively considering various actions, including even the potential inclusion of a passenger that involved in unruly behavior on the no-fly uh, no list highlighting the seriousness um, with which such incidents are treated uh, within the airline. And yes, uh, the latest is um, actions are, are being taken, including the potential inclusion of passengers on the no-fly list are also consideration as unruly uh, behavior category as said by an uh, Indigo official. Uh, right, absolutely, Brian. And what was the reason for the delay and by like how much time was this flight delayed? Do we have any details on that front? Uh, well, Asabri, uh, you, uh, around uh, because of the dense fog-like situation in the northwest part of the India, uh, you know, Delhi as well as many other flights were facing a lot of delays. There were two hours delays, three hours delays, and a result of that, also even yesterday there were many flights delays. Even today, uh, around 400 plus flights were delayed, and De Delhi was facing major delays in terms of the flight um, uh, flight operations. And um, you know, today also the the Delhi Goa airline also delayed, and this uh, the the, the, the the flight, the pilot who came, who you know, um, you know, replaced the uh, 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 the previous co-pilot came and he um, just started announcing that there is, uh, he announced that there might be a delay. There is a delay. He came to announce it and that. And that very moment, this very passenger whose name is Sahil Kadaria came all the way from behind um, and came and assaulted and punched him. And as a result of that, there was a chaos. Um, you know, if you see the video also, there was the flight attendant who also was trying to pacify the situation. But yes, the situation went out of control when there was a, a, a punch that, uh, you know, that, that hit the pilot. And as a result of that, also the pilot started, um, you know, he, he even, um, he lost the complaint also against, against Sahil Kataria who, assaulted and misbehaved with this co-pilot during the flight Delhi to Bombay. Yes, sir, Right, absolutely, Brian. And you know, you're talking about the visuals. We have those visuals on our screens. They're absolutely shocking. There are female cabin crew members who are, in fact, telling um, Sahil Kataria, the man who, in fact, punched the captain to stop and move behind this. I mean, we can see those visuals on our screens. He's literally punched him in the face. Absolutely outrageous. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Ellen Lau, former DCP special cell. All right, I think he's going to be joining us very shortly. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Whipple Saxena, aviation expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for speaking to us. On News X, we, we can see those visuals on our screens. They're absolutely, I mean, it's, it's outrageous. It's really, really bad what we see over here. But, you know, the reason for the delay of this flight was fog. This is completely out of the hand of the crew, of the captain. I mean, what action is going to be implemented against the identified man, Sahil Kataria, who punched a captain in the face? See, firstly, I myself being ex-pilot, 
uh, I have full sympathy with the captain who has been hit by this passenger. Uh, and I think it's one of the very, very unfortunate incident because captain of the aircraft has got a lot of responsibility for the safety of the aircraft and also the passengers. And if he's not, he doesn't feel safe, I, I don't think any passenger has right to feel, feel safe. Hmm. That's number one. So in such scenario, uh, there are two actions which, which uh, I'm expecting uh, to happen. One is that immediate FIR and handing over to police for uh, non bailable offence and it should be exemplary that uh, passengers cannot take law in hand, especially when, uh, with the flying crew. Second thing, uh, this passenger should be blacklisted, should be uh, delisted from to fly any air, by any airline. Okay, for a, for a certain period, there are guidelines about this and uh, so such action should also be taken under the uh, provisions of unruly passengers' behaviour. This is it. Purely unruly passenger behavior. Under that, all the airlines uh, can uh, you know bar him to fly uh, in any in, in any of the, uh, of the of the of the flights. So I think uh, these two actions uh, are minimum which should happen. Uh, others uh, can can be by by the airline whatever whatever they feel uh, the action can be taken for compensation or whatever. Right, sir. Absolutely, and you know, I mean, again, as you just said that. Uh, if if the crew is not feeling safe by you know what what is just transpired inside that flight how will passengers feel safe that's a very excellent point raised over there but uh, you know then what uh, regulations should be implemented is my question to you i mean how if if a, if a situation like this arises what should be the immediate plan of action that should be implemented see now this aircraft was all, uh, on the ground only okay now the rules are uh, very clear that if such incident would have happened in the air, in air the first thing is the aircraft has to be, uh, to be made to land uh, to the nearest airfield and handed over this passenger to the uh, to the police. Now since the aircraft was already on ground, so the, the, there was no uh, I mean problem in handing over such passenger to the police uh, on an immediate basis. And uh, thereafter, subsequent action can be taken by invest, by um, you know uh, initiating inquiry of unruly passenger behavior. There are guidelines. By DGC, DGC has given very detailed uh, CR on this, and uh, it's a it's a very very uh, detailed CR which talks about clearly how to see that uh, no no passenger uh, uh, who is behaving unruly uh, goes uh, scot free, so that so that the flight safety passenger safety is uh, ensured. So under that provision, there is also a provision uh, where uh, a particular passenger who is behaved unruly can be uh, you know delisted from the flying list. To fly in any of the airlines in India. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.